Hey, how's it going? Welcome to some Ark Extinction. One of the harshest maps in Ark. So we started off in Sanctuary here. It's the, uh, the little middle area that's kind of protected from the corrupted dinos. We did start Central. So let's go ahead. Like I said, I have played this map before, so I do know somewhat where stuff is. But we do have to get the basics. Let's go ahead and try to get some fiber, get a little bit of clothes made. There's not too much we have to worry about in here. Um, as I say that, there's a pack of raptors <laughs> right over that way. Ah, uh, it's not a good start, man. All right, so we're going to try to get some of the basic stuff together. A couple tools, find a place to put a little shelter, and hopefully survive. So let's take a look and see what we're going to need. Try to get some cloth made. It is hot on this map. It's extremely hot. Luckily, my fortitude is somewhat high. What is my fortitude at? 60. I think that's what I had the last time I played this map. So we should be all right. We're going to be wearing a lot of ghillie on this map. I do know that. All right. What do we need for... Oh, basic tools, man. I haven't, haven't had to build basic stuff in a while. All right, so we got us a nice pickaxe. We'll get some flint. And I don't think, if I remember right, unless you go in one of the biomes, there is no nighttime on this map. So we don't have to worry about a torch right now. And there's some metal, a little bit of water. So if you are new to this map and don't know anything about it, this is, there's a lot of corrupted dinos that are outside the walls here, which we'll explore later. And the main thing with those is, do they do a lot of damage? There's gigas like crazy. And then you have defender, you have some bots. So yeah, that's a defender. And then there's some flying ones that we'll see through here. And there's actually some you can not really tame. You kill them and get a blueprint and then you can craft them. A little Dillo, we need to get a bow and arrow made. I think I have enough for my hatchet. What are we missing? A little bit more wood. And we'll get us a bow and arrow. And then we... Oh, I already made one. Dude, what's going on, man? That's alright. We'll save it for later. Get this made before this Dillo sees us. Be able to get some hide from him. I'd like to change over to hide armor as soon as we get a chance. Drop some of this extra weight we're not going to need. So I have a place that I do like building on this map. It's actually not too far along that way. And that way we'll be able to kind of access all of the places from a central location. We won't have to build too many bases off the start. I do want to build more tech. So that's one of the flying ones. So if you kill stuff when that thing sees you, it'll actually call in some of the, the ones that are tameable. Or not tameable, but buildable. And uh, they're called enforcers. And man, those things are, they're a little overpowered right at first. Try to get around this Carno and this di or this uh, Raptor. There is a lot of tech creatures in this map too. And Element. Element is definitely not a problem. So we can bust these light posts and they give you... You get a lot of dust on this planet. Element dust. It's used for crafting. Then you can make shards. And shards can be made into sheets. Which we will we'll be taking a look at our Ingrams here in a few minutes. To see what we can unlock. There's quite a few uh, planet-specific ones. Let's go ahead, take a look at some foundations, get those crafted while we're going. See if we can get a little bit more high from this Dillo. We are going to be needing some to make... Uh, we got our forge we're going to be needing making soon. Because there's a lot of metal on this map. Start getting that smelted down. And we need to make a mortar and pestle. Try to get some narc going on so we can do some taming. There's an enforcer. I don't know if you guys can see it. He's up that way. He won't bother us if we don't bother him. Dude, I should have bolted him, man. He's a lot higher level than I thought he was. 
Come on, man. Need a little bit of hide from you. Couple guy out. I'm new here. Where'd he go? Ah, you guys hear that? That's a uh, drop pod. So there's not drops on this map like normal maps. There's actually drop pods, and you got to do defense. Um, they're like little orbital defense drops you got to do. It's like, uh, I think, five waves for each one. So that's something we'll definitely be checking out. There's different difficulties of those. Give you different things, you know. Dude, that parasaur is gone. I should have bowled with him, man. That would have been a lot of good hide. Oh, wait, he's coming back. Dude, come here. Now I can't see. Not today, Dillo. All right, we'll let him live for now. You're lucky, man. You're lucky. <laughs> Let's get up here. We're almost where I want to build at. Just on the other side of this other wall up here, past this opening, out there is the harsh harsh extinction world you do use more food and water out there so that's a it's always a good thing you know <laughs> makes it more difficult we do need to find some water soon too man we're running pretty low oh dude oh, okay so there's one of the enforcers there but yeah we can ride them man they get a bonus to the corrupted animals that are out there I think there's some water right up here. I can't remember. Yep, right here. Cool. Oh, we can't drink it. That's right. I forgot about this map. So on this map, there's a lot of places where you can't drink. Oh, yeah, we could. There we go. But yeah, there's a lot of streams. Unless they changed it for whenever I played. I played back at release. And there's a lot of, a lot of places you couldn't drink that you uh, should have been able to. So this is the stream by where we're going to be building at. And those fish, oh, dude, that's going to be nice for some prime fish meat. But those fish weren't here last time I was here. And this is where we will be calling home. It's a nice, somewhat quiet little area, minus the defenders there that we'll have to take out. But the main reason for being over here is one, water. Two, it's a good location in between everything. And three, there's a city terminal here. So that city terminal right there, inside that little... Uh, kind of covered area that's where you can upload your characters and stuff and use those to put stuff in and teleport it around the map so it's uh it's also used for building some of the stuff so let's go ahead i think we're gonna build i usually build right up there there's a walkway that comes across and you get to it from over there but i think we're gonna build just right here for right now this is only gonna be temporary let's go ahead and get need to get another foundation made do a two by two I don't know which way those defenders went, man. Try to get this done real quick so we can get a bed made so that we can respawn if we need to. Because we have come... have come a good little ways. See, can we make a bed yet? We can't. What do, oh, we can. Okay, let's go ahead and get that down now. And then let's get some storage. Dude, the last time I played this, I, I used to play without transferring my character. And man, it was so hard to get started on this map. Awesome. Empty a couple things out of here. Let's see, actually... Get rid of some of this. We'll keep the berries. Put those down there. And I don't think we'll need the stem berries, but hold on. All right, let's get some doors and walls made. Somewhat protect ourselves. Oh man, there's a drop around here. It sounds like it started. I wonder why. Usually that that music is whenever there's a drop that starts. I thought maybe they changed it. I'm not starting to drop, I can tell you that. They spawn in a whole bunch of bad stuff when that happens, man. Especially if you aren't ready for it. 
Why does that ramp look all weird? There we go. Kind of nervous, man. I just want to get these walls up. See, I need one, two, three more. I want to build them too high. That way we're not too claustrophobic, you know what I mean? Need to find some more trees, man. That's the only problem about being around here is the trees are so far away and there's another dillo. Let's go ahead and get some more hide. Need to get a campfire made, get us some food cooking too. I don't want to have to eat berries all the time, man. It's, uh, it's not that good. Should have enough to finish our walls here, and I'm not sure if I want to do a slope ceiling. Probably do a thatch one like I usually do. Just to get us through the next couple days. It is kind of nice that there's not no not any nighttime here. A nice, simple little cottage. One more. Come on, man. Hurry up! Awesome! There we go. Don't need any torches, because like I said, it does not get nighttime. Take a look and see if we can't get some stuff set up for a forge here soon, too. Just empty everything out into here. Keep our arrows, of course. Alright, so campfire. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Need the basics, the basics. Dude, what was that? Don't come destroying my stuff, man. I just got it built. So we're missing some stone and hide. How much hide? We got enough hide. So we just need some more stone. How much are we missing? Okay, about 60. Uh, just a stego, I think. Stegos are getting a buff here soon, I think, if I read right on the, uh, on the internet. That'll be nice to be able to tame those up and have a use for them. Let's go ahead and get our forge made real quick. Ooh, we can do a mortar and pestle, too. Nice. That's, like, pretty much all the basic stuff that we need. Now we can start farming a lot of the metal. A lot of these little river stones will have it. And should be able to get metal tools here pretty soon. I think I'm going to put this right here. Right by the door. Don't want to clip it out, though. That should leave us enough room to put our workbench there. And maybe a couple more of the cabinets. This we can leave out here. And I guess I made... An extra one of these, we'll just, just demolish it. Get the resources. Three whole metal. Let's get it smelting. Water and pestle, we'll throw that outside here too. Oh wait, does it have to be on a... Yeah, it's gotta be on a foundation, I forgot. It'll do fine right there. Grab some more river rocks, man. Get some metal going. So I think on this playthrough, I'm going to push kind of real hard to get metal objects and like a long neck and stuff before we start taming. I'm not going to mess around with using uh, bow and arrow too much. That way we can get equipped. And like I said, there's a ton of stuff to do on this map. So that's going good. I'm going to get a little bit more metal and should be able to get some tools made here in a minute. Get a nice uh, pike made. 
What do we need for a smithy? Hide, so we need five ingots, and I think I have wood and all that in here. Yes, I do. A little bit of that, a little bit of that, some thatch. Just five metal ingot and 20 hide. One more metal ingot, and that way we can get our... Get a pipe, there we go. Get a pike made and some metal tools. Dude, I'm pretty excited, man, to to do some of the drops and stuff. They're pretty fun. They're kind of a pain to do if you don't know how to do them. But they're uh they're definitely worth it. And I think for building wise, I'm gonna build small on this map compared to what I usually do. I do plan on building uh, an actual tech base since we have all the parts that we need for it. Let's take a look while some of that is smelting. What specific ones are on this map? Extinction. Oh, that's right, we got taxidermy stuff. So we can do... You can actually take a sample with the taxidermy tool of a creature and then make like a stuffed animal that goes on it. And you got delivery crates. Those will actually... Uh, you can set locations with your GPS, and you can fill those up, and it'll transport stuff for you. Dino leashes aren't really used much anymore, since you can turn wandering off uh, for, like, mating and stuff. We will be taming a Volanosaur pretty soon off. And then, ah, here we go. Element shards. So we can use dust that we get from the tech dinos to make shards, and then we already got the Ingram unlocked for shards to sheets. And then what else was there? Oh, tech bridge. That's very nice. We can use that to spin across areas. Doesn't take a tech generator or nothing. And there's the mech. And that's some um, more parts for the mech. Nice, man. Oh, it's nice having that. I don't really like the gravity grenade. Uh, I think I used it at one point in time. Snow Owl is a very, very nice mount that we'll be getting. It, um, It's kind of like an RG, but different. So nice, man. We'll, we'll see. We'll play with the taxidermy stuff later. Actually, let's go ahead and just unlock it while we're here. How are we looking on metal? Dude, that is smelting so slow. Pick, and I think that's all we can make. What are we missing? A couple more for the ingots. All right, well, we got a nice little base set up here. We're doing fairly well for ourselves. I'm going to go ahead and just farm up a bunch more metal. That way we can get a long neck made and get some more tools and all that good stuff. Get into taming something as soon as I get a long neck made. However, going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you're going to enjoy Extinction. It's a very fun map. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.